Hey everybody, Clay Archer here at CEO DPC Technology. Today I want to talk a little bit about security cameras and why we use the Unify Protect system. As you may know, we offer security systems at DPC Technology, and we have a couple criteria for the systems that we use. The main system that we use is the Unify Protect system. And really the biggest criteria that it meets for us is that it's high quality and it does not have a monthly subscription. There are a lot of inexpensive systems out there that, um, that have a monthly subscription to do kind of the, the higher end stuff that we need a camera system to do. Um, there's also some really, really low end stuff, the kind of the Chinese stuff that you see out there that requires us to do some, uh, some porting through your firewall, which we really don't want to do. So uh, what the Unify gives us is a high quality system that we're able to just purchase at a one-time purchase fee and not have a recurring uh, monthly uh, subscription for the portal. Um, the biggest criteria for us is we want it to be high quality. We want it to be a 1080p or higher. Um, these are really, really durable camera systems. Um, these are really, really nice cameras. We have tons of them out there. I don't think we've ever had a broken camera in all our years of using this system. Uh, this is a typical outdoor camera, super nice. It has um, infrared, uh, it's mountable outside, all weather, really, really nice system. Um, and these are the indoor cameras. Um, really, again, really, really nice, really, really durable infrared. So when people turn off the lights, uh, you can still see what's going on. Um, really, really nice system. Um, the quality is, is high. These cameras are a little bit more expensive than your average camera. So you could get a less expensive uh, camera itself and then hook it up to a software that has a monthly subscription. But the nice thing about the Unified Protect system is the hardware is all really high quality, um, but we don't have to pay any ongoing subscriptions. So uh, I have a couple different pieces here. Uh, again, an outdoor camera, an indoor camera. Um, this is our switch. Um, you may have PoE switch in your office for uh, uh, your phone systems. PoE means power over ethernet. Um, these, all these devices need power to them and they're in remote locations. So that one Cat5 cable, Cat6 cable that we run to these, uh, these devices is able to uh, carry power when we use a, uh, a rack mount PoE switch like this. Um, so this is a Ubiquiti switch. It's a really, really nice switch. Um, we actually use the same switch to power all of our phone systems. Um, high quality switch, they rarely ever break. Um, really, really durable, industrial kind of business level uh, stuff. And this is the higher end camera system that we use. Uh, this is the, actually where we record the videos. These little devices are um, hard drive caddies. So we're able to fill this up with four hard drives. The nice thing about this particular system is we're able to do redundant drives. So if one of these drives breaks, uh, we're able to, uh, it'll give us an alert in the software. We're able to come out, just replace that one drive. We can actually pull the drive out while it's still working, put the new drive in, and it will just rebuild itself the same way you do with your regular server. Um, they make a, a smaller unit that we put into our smaller systems. If you're gonna have like five, six cameras or less, you don't need this big of a system. Uh, this one uh, is about a $300 system, and plus the hard drives. Uh, the smaller system is a few hundred dollars, but just has one hard drive, one solid state hard drive inside of it. Uh, it comes with one terabyte hard drive, and you can upgrade that to a bigger one. Um, the size of the hard drives, we definitely we, we like to be able to configure that because bigger offices uh, need more uh, more storage time. They need more uh, storage just in general because they're gonna have more cameras. More cameras means more recording. So basically it's a function of how long you can record is a function of how big your hard drive is uh, uh, divided by how many cameras you have. So uh, in our system here in the office, we have 13 cameras. So we use a bigger system. Um, we use this exact system. Um, this, a smaller five office uh, uh, a camera system will use a smaller one. Um, Ubiquiti has a full line of these cameras. These happen to be the two that we use right now, but they have some higher end cameras. They have some 4K cameras. Uh, they have some smaller uh, cameras like this that are a little bit more um, discreet than these are outside. Uh, they have some uh, a mini instead of this bigger dome. Has a few less, fewer less, a few less features, um, but it is really, really nice camera as well. Um, not quite as much uh, resolution on that one. 
Um, they also have um, some different form factors for these cameras, so they're gonna look a little different. Um, these two, two tend to be the ones that we use the most. These go really nicely in the ceiling tile. This goes really nice on an outside location, above a door, above a, uh, an, an exterior area where you wanna see what's going on. Um, the other features of the system that we really like is that it just goes in very quickly. So what, that, what does that mean for you? That means that we need less labor hours to put this in. So basically we run the lines to it. This box is really just kind of a black box. It fires up. We're able to go to a web portal, sign it up, attach the cameras, and it just goes. Um, and on the, on the long-term part of it that really works for us is it's just a very simple software. So we don't have a lot of training for you or your staff to figure out how to do things. It's very easy to go back through your history. We'll do a quick demo once we get into the software and I'll show you all those features. But um, the main features for us that are, are really driving us to use this particular system is it, it's uh, l low maintenance costs, low, uh, low barriers to entry, meaning it doesn't take a lot of uh, education from us to you. So you aren't gonna call us a bunch and say, Hey Clay, how do I get to my recordings? It's very, very easy to do that. How do I turn on or off a microphone? How do I go back and, and do a time lapse? Um, those kind of things are really important. Um, the fact of the matter is for us here, we've had a couple of, of thefts that happened here. We had one where a cleaning crew stole an iPad. We had another one where at the front desk, somebody came in, um, the person wasn't sitting at the front desk and, and that the kind of door-to-door -door salesperson stole somebody's phone. Um, very easily, we're able to go back in the videos, figure out who did those things, and we're able to figure it out. Um, I personally use it very, a, a lot just to figure out where people are in the building. We have a pretty big building here. So if I wanna know who's in the break room, I can look up and see it. If I wanna see who's at the front door, I can look up and see it. Um, really, really nice. As well as I'm, I'm 22 miles away from the office at home. So if on the weekend the alarm goes off, I'm really quickly able to click on my phone and look and see who's uh, who set the alarm off and what's going on. So that peace of mind to me is worth a, worth a lot. Um, so you know, for, if you're looking to secure your practice, um, and you're looking just to have some some visibility into where everybody is, what's going on. Um, these, this is a really really wonderful little system. At this point, it's probably a good point to jump into the software and show you a little bit of the features. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what we mean by it's really easy and uh, kind of uh, intuitive to use the system. Okay, so I wanted to come to my office real quick and jump into the software and show you some of the features of the Unify Protect system. So let's get into the software real quick and I will show you what it looks like and how it operates. So first of all, it's pretty simple. It's just a web interface. You just go with your web browser to the Unify Protect site and you sign in. and It will bring you into your NVR and you basically can see all your cameras. Um, there's a few features I just kind of want to go over real quick. Um, along the top, uh, in the top right hand corner, you could set up your NVR, you could set up users. Typically, once it's set up in the beginning, you'll never really use those features. So I'm not going to go too, too uh, deep into those, just letting you know that they're there. Along the left hand side is really the four features that you're going to use. Um, that's your cameras, your live view, your events, and your time lapse. So um, your cameras, I'm gonna uh, quickly just go over this and then I'll come back to it. Basically it lists all your different cameras. We have 13 cameras here. You can name them. It shows you some uh, basic details of them. Um, in live view, where you're gonna spend probably 90% of your time, it's gonna show you all your cameras and your different views. In events, it's gonna show you the different recordings. And in time-lapse, it's gonna let you scrub through individual recordings. So, I'm gonna to jump to live view because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time. Um, like I said, we have 13 cameras here and that you, I've got them all up there, but you may not always want to see all 13 cameras or all, all the cameras that you have. So you can go to other views. So, um, you know, I've got a front view, which basically just shows the front of the office and the um, areas where uh, people go to the front door, but I could also add a view. So if I click on add a view, I can say, no, let's go with four cameras, we'll go next and I will just put the meeting room. So we'll go conference room, we will go large meeting room, uh, we'll go kitchen, and we will go sales pit where people tend to congregate. I can give this an, another name so I can go demonstration or whatever, and I'm gonna go save, and it'll go ahead and save that. 
And then uh, if, I, if I wanted to, I could just leave that on a TV somewhere. One of the really nice features of the Unify Protect system is you don't necessarily have to have a computer attached to the television. Uh, they make a device that will connect from Cat5 or Cat6 cable to HDMI, and you just put that little device behind the television and it will display whatever um, whatever views you set to, to that display. And it can rotate through views. It can do a, a bunch of different things with these views. But for the most part, you're gonna set that to something and you're probably just gonna kind of just have it there and, and forget about it. Um, we have different views out in the knock so that people can see uh, maybe the UPS guy come to the front door or the back door and that kind of thing. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Most of the systems all do that the same way. Um, events is where all the recordings uh, stay. Like I said, you can just all feel walking around the knock. If I wanted to download a video of that, I uh, figured out that that was the video I needed. I could click download. I could also click time-lapse to go to the time-lapse on that video. Uh, this is where you used to kind of go back to find where something happened and you would uh, click filter on here and you'd say, well, let me just look at the front desk one camera. And I think it happened at two o'clock and you would kind of roll back through your timeline and try and find it here. Um, but really cool feature feature and probably my most favorite feature uh, of the Unify Protect system is this time lapse, lapse feature. Um, let's go to the parking lot. The parking lot tends to have a lot of activity and, and pretty good recordings. So I'm just going to scroll back a little bit through the timeline here and you'll see it takes maybe a second for it to catch up but as soon as it does um, it goes into I'm gonna call it a live time lapse. So it's not really live, it's time lapse. But in real time, I can scrub forward and backwards and I can see when a car leaves. I can see when things happen. And really, uh, you know, one of the biggest features for me of the system is that uh, we have a big office. There's a lot of people here. And sometimes um, just things, uh, uh, they disappear, meaning UPS brings a package, it's signed for, I know the package is here, but I can't figure out where the package is. So in this situation, I can see the UPS guy coming in here at, at 2, uh, whatever, 2, 10 p.m.-ish. Um, and so I wanna know who got that package. So all I've gotta do is switch to the front desk one camera, I happen to know where it's gonna be, and boom, I see the UPS man come and ring the door. And so I can, you know, I can, just sit here and figure out and wash and see where he's gonna go and who picks up the door, who signs for it, and I can find where things are. Um, it's really, really super nice. You can figure out what's going on really simply by uh, just watching the video and scrubbing through the timeline. Also, sometimes where, you know, maybe uh, you know, on a longer basis, you can just see where something is, it was there at one point and is now missing. So let me go back out to the, the parking lot. I will scrub through and I'll do it with the parking lot because it's bigger items and you can see where they're going. But I can see when a car was there and wasn't there. I'll do this for like a package or a computer sitting on the front desk and go, uh, who took that computer? Um, I don't know, but I just see it sitting on the front desk and then I'll scrub through the timeline and then I'll see it move uh, or leave. So like I can see this white truck's now leaving. So if I was that was what I was looking for, I can just scrub through a whole day real quickly and find when things happened or didn't happen. Really super nice features um, and just really simple to use. And you can also do that on your cell phone. Look at the moon going down. That's pretty cool. Um, so anyways, that's the, the main features of uh, like reviewing and viewing your video. But I'll go really quickly through some setup. Um, I'll, I'll use the parking lot camera as well. Uh, this parking lot camera is a little bit older camera. This is, I guess it's five years old now. We put that, that camera in when we uh, came in the building. That's a G2 built bullet. They are all the way up to G4 uh, and the G4 Pros. All of these cameras that you're looking at here are 1080p cameras. They make 4K cameras, which are really, really nice. Um, but on a 4K camera, uh, the main drawback of the 4K camera is really the price. Um, so a 4K camera in this location would be about $450. Um, I'm pretty happy with the quality here on 1080p. Um, but if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to be able to see that a little bit more in detail, I could go to a 4K camera. They're amazing. Uh, they do take up a little bit more space. We happen to have a pretty pretty large NVR here. And anybody that had a 4K uh, uh, camera system, I would make the NVR just a little bit bigger. But um, yeah, the only thing about it is really the cost the cost of it. And uh, if you have a use case where you need it, it certainly is, is wonderful. So I'm gonna show you a few things that we set up in these cameras themselves. 
Uh, under the general tab, you can uh, adjust the video quality. Uh, you could also put and change the name of it or you could put a an overlay. So if you wanted the video recording itself to have a time in it or the camera name in it, you could have that burnt into the image if you wanted to. Um, under recording, you could set things to always record, to never record, let's say it's a sensitive area, or only to record on motion events. Um, and if you are on motion events, you can set the sensitivity of those events, and you can also set how long it records before the, the motion and how long it records after the motion stops. Um, so those are some nice features to have. Uh, in that same kind of vein of, of being able to adjust what's recorded and not recorded, you can add motion zones. So you can see in the parking lot, I've got this mask uh, over the areas I want recorded. So if I you know, drag it around, I can omit areas or I can add areas to this. Obviously here, I'm just trying not to record what's in the road. Um, you can also have multiple, uh, multiple zones in, a, in an image. If I say like, I wanted to record the sky, I could drag a, a mask up over the sky and that would be there and anything that happened in the sky would now be recorded as well. Um, real simple and easy to do. Um, and it's a kind of a nice feature to have because if you did all, didn't have it and you recorded the road, it basically would be recording all the time. Um, last thing under manage that I use is the microphone feature. Uh, they all have the, all the cameras have the ability to record audio. I have it all turned off here. I didn't want my employees to feel like Big Brother is recording them. But if I did want to, I could turn it on like this parking lot one. If I wanted to hear a crazy person out in the parking lot yelling something, I could turn on that microphone and I could hear what they were saying. Um, those are all super nice features um, and pretty easy to set up. One other thing that I do use, and let me go to a different camera on here because I think that that is the default. Um, like I said, these cameras are really high quality uh, right out of, the uh, out of the box. I really like the quality of the cameras. Uh, like I said, that last camera was a five-year-old camera. This is a, a more contemporary camera. But um, on the cameras, one of the nice features that you have is if you click into the camera and click to the little gear icon, you can adjust the camera. So brightness, contrast, hue, microphone, saturation, all these things you can, you can adjust. For the most part, I really like the cameras out of the box, but some of the cameras um, in certain areas where the lighting may be a little more challenging, and this is an area where the lighting's challenging, there's always a harsh light coming in from the, uh, from the parking lot and this room is really lit. It looks a little dull. So for my, from, then this is just my personal, uh, for my personal taste, I come in here and I'll knock the brightness down a little bit to take some of that glare out and I'll turn the contrast up a little bit, makes it a little bit more uh, contrasty. I personally like it that way. The nice thing about this, these, these cameras is you can kind of season them to taste. That looks a little sharper and nicer to me and uh, I like it. So uh, in this screen as well, you certainly could just take a screenshot of that. So if I click on the icon, uh, the little camera icon, uh, I actually saved to my downloads folder a uh, picture of the of the um, of that moment, and uh, and I can send that to somebody. Like if it was somebody stealing something or something, and I had that picture, I could send that to you, uh, the police or or whatever I wanted to do. So uh, that's it f uh, for the main part. One of the nice things, and I know I mentioned it before, about this system is all of this web interface is free. So there is no extra charge to be able to use the web interface. Um, the cameras in the system are a little bit more expensive than other cameras, but there is no monthly fee. Once you've bought the cameras, you're good to go and you own them. Um, the same is true of the uh, the web app, and I'm gonna jump on over into the web app now, and uh, it's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Um, it's just a, a icon on your phone, an app you can download from the Apple Store or from Google Play, and you click on it and it just logs right in, and you'll notice it looks very, very similar to what we just saw on the web portal. Um, the cool thing about it is you pretty much can do everything in here that you could on the web portal. And I'm not sure how the quality looks of a recording of the cell phone, but it looks amazing on your cell phone. They're really, really sharp. They're really, really pretty. Same timeline features. I can scrub back through the timeline, see when people left, see what was going on. Um, really, really quick and responsive. Uh, I'm doing this over cellular data now. It really, really works well. Um, and, you know, if I wanted to see when the UPS guy left before, from before, I can do the same thing I did before and find that UPS truck coming in and he was somewhere around here. 
But anyways, very, very simple, very, very quick and easy to do, um, and super nice feature to have on your cell phone. Uh, like I said earlier in the, the software stuff, nine times out of 10, what I am doing is uh, my alarm company calls me and it's eight o'clock at night. I don't wanna drive 20 minutes into the office to figure out what alarm does. Click the app, really quickly being able to see what's going on. Uh, super, super, super awesome. Like I said, you pretty much can do everything on the phone app that you did on the uh, the web interface. If I click the little wrench in the top, uh, you'll see all of the same kind of features. They're just arranged a little bit different. So I could go in and adjust the picture the same way I did. Uh, if I just wanna desaturate the image and make it real gray, I can slide along and do that. It'll just pop in, takes maybe a second. Or if I wanted to oversaturate it a lot, I could. Um, all the same features, really quick and easy, kind of same as before. Um, also, uh, motion zones, click on motion zones. You can see the motion zones that I set up before. If I wanted to go to that new zone and just delete it, because I didn't forgot to delete it before, I could delete it. And I'm managing it just like I was on the computer. Super easy, super quick, uh, and super nice. Um, that's it for the for the for the main uh, part of it. Um, I could go deeper into features, but really the, the the kicker for me is that there is no there is no um, monthly charge for any of these uh, web and uh, phone apps, which is a really really uh, a nice selling point for me. Um, and with that, I'm probably going to just send it back over to the. Uh, the presentation and we'll do a, a quick wrap up of the features and benefits of the Unify Protect system. I hope that demo helped. Let's kind of go back over the pros and the cons of the system. Let's start out with the cons. Um, there And there really are three cons to the system. One, um, the system is proprietary. So if you're gonna use these cameras, you have to use it on a Unify system. You can't use these cameras on another system and you can't use another system's cameras on this system. Uh, number two, there is no AI with this system. So if you want like facial recognition or knowing the people that are coming through the door, you're gonna have to use a more expensive system. The system just doesn't have that built into it. Um, and the third one is that the cameras on the system are a little bit more expensive uh, than the cheapest cameras out there. I think it, the quality of them more than makes up for that. And then it leads us into the biggest pro for this for us is that there is not a monthly fee. So the camera's a little bit more expensive, but there is no monthly fee going forward. So if you keep the system for five or 10 years, you're really gonna be way ahead with this kind of system. Um, also the build qualities, uh, quality of this system is, is really high. The ease of use is really high. Um, so uh, all, all in all, I think it's a really, really wonderful uh, system. And for a specific use case where uh, you do not want a monthly fee, I think it is the best system that we found out there. As always, I hope you found this video of value. If you did, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Also click the little bell icon to be notified when we make future content. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We always love to hear your feedback. If you need a system or you're looking for an IT provider, please call the number on the screen. We'd love to have a conversation with you. As always, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.